Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I am so excited today about the power of prayer and the privilege and the potential that is contained in prayer. Each and every day we get a chance to pray together, and I pray these prayers are a blessing to you, and I'm praying that we are going to grow in God's grace for this 30 uh, days of prayer. That's exactly what we're doing. We're reading passages of scripture that contain the grace of God so that we can learn about God's grace. And then we're praying for God to help us to live in his grace. And so today, the Holy Spirit has led us to Acts chapter 20 and verse 24. And as we read the word of God, here's what it says. But none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy and the ministry which I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Amen. But none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy and the ministry which I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Amen. Today we want to pray for three things as we go before the throne of grace to find help in our time of need. We want to, one, pray that we will not be moved by worldly pursuits. Yes, we want to pray that we will not be moved by worldly pursuits. Secondly, we want to pray that we will run our race with joy, that we will run the race that God has set before us with the joy that comes from the Holy Spirit. And then thirdly, we want to pray that we will testify to other people, to the gospel, the good news of the grace of God, that we will be found as witnesses testifying to the gospel of Jesus Christ, and to the grace of God. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the privilege of coming to you in prayer. We thank you for this prayer series about us growing in your grace. God, today is the day that you have made, and we've woken up wake, We've woke up this morning to, to glorify your name and to rejoice and to be glad in it. God, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We thank you for his substitutionary sacrifice over 2,000 years ago. We thank you that Jesus died on the cross and God, you raised him from the dead and that he is alive forevermore. Lord, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit and we thank you for his ministry of intercession and prayer. And we thank you for him leading us to this scripture today in Acts chapter 20 and verse 24. And Father, we pray that as we grow in your grace, we would be moved less and less by worldly pursuits. Lord, we recognize that we, if we do not work, we do not eat. We recognize, oh God, that we are in the world, but we also understand we are not of this world. We recognize, oh God, that there are so many influences and so many lusts that can, are contained in the world, God, but keep us from pursuing worldly lust. Keep us from pursuing worldly pursuits. For Lord God, when we count our lives dear to ourselves, we become selfish. But Lord, help us to live life with you in mind. Help us to live life with heaven in view. Help us to live life by putting other people's needs ahead of our own. Help us to live life with a self-sacrificing mindset that we see others' needs and want to meet them even as you have met ours. And we pray, Lord God, as we do this, that we would run this race that is set before us with joy. Lord, we so often pursue worldly pursuits thinking it leads to joy, only to discover, God, that we're more miserable once we receive what we were looking for than when we didn't have it. But you've promised us, O oh God, that if we live our life according to your principles and according to your plan, that we can run this race with your joy, the joy that you give, the world didn't give it to us, and the world can't take it away. So we pray, Lord God, as we pray to you that our joy would be full, as we read your word, that our joy would be full, that as we serve you and serve other people, that we would do it with a spirit of joy, that we would be overflowing, we would be filled with the joyous uh, spirit that comes from serving you. And then, Lord God, we pray that we would freely testify the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ, that we would testify the good news of the grace of God, 
that the grace of God showed up in our lives and Jesus died on the cross and God, you raised him from the dead. And it is we are saved by grace through faith, not of works, lest any of us should be able to boast. Lord, let us not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for we know that the gospel is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. So, Lord, help us to share your word, your grace, the gospel of Jesus Christ with our co-workers, our neighbors, and our friends, even our enemies, God, even strangers that we may or may not know. For all, Lord, have sinned and fallen short of your glory, but you have come to save all men, women, boys, and girls from their sins. For you tell us in your word, God, that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, Lord God, I pray that you would allow our testimony to be received and seasoned with grace. I pray, Lord God, that you would allow the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts to be acceptable in your sight as we share with other people that you, in fact, are our strength and you are our redeemer. Use us as great witnesses for you. Use us to share a wonderful testimony about the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ today. To the end that souls would be saved and lives would be changed and you would get all of the glory and all of the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, family, I want you to continue to grow in God's grace today. I want you to continue to go in God's grace today. We read from Acts chapter 20 and verse 24, but none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy and the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Amen. That's the word of God for the people of God today. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. Be victorious. God bless.